In this video, I'm showing you how to optimize Windows 10 for gaming. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button and then go and leave a like as it helps this video get to more people and I really do appreciate it. So I'm showing you the full process of optimizing Windows and without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this. Okay everyone, so as you can see, I'm now on my computer and let's go and jump straight into this tutorial. Now within this tutorial, as I mentioned before, I'm showing you how to maximize your performance and your gaming experience. Now, a quick note, in the future, I'll probably be making a way longer video than this. In this video, I just wanted to see if people are interested in it and uh, if you guys want to see more of it. Anyways, let's go and jump straight into this. So the first thing I recommend doing is actually going down to your search icon and simply go and search for settings. Settings is basically where your control center is for Windows and there are so many options we can go in here. And once you're here, all you want to do is click find a setting and simply search for updates. Now I recommend going and updating your computer to the latest Windows update. As you can see, you click check for updates and it's gonna go and load to check you're on the latest update. Basically, this just means um, that it's going to be on the latest version of Windows, which is going to be the most optimized for your machine. So honestly, just having the latest version of Windows is really important. So as you can see, I have got to an update, which I'm going to do. So once you've gone and updated your machine, then come back to your settings. Simply come to system, and all you want to do is simply scroll down to notifications and actions. Now, stuff like this, honestly, it just slows down your PC. It's constantly trying to check stuff. So what I recommend doing is simply turning off and then it's gonna go and turn everything off for all of your applications. Now, you may wanna keep it on for stuff like Discord, which I do appreciate. So you can turn that on and you could untick all of these and then just keep the ones on your like. So for example, I could turn them all off except for Discord and they're still gonna come through. Um, so yeah, make sure you just check what apps you'd like to come through, but I will recommend turning it all off here. Um, it's a lot quicker. And then come down to Focus Assist. I also recommend turning these off as well. Um, it's just gonna optimize it a little bit more. Then you wanna come down to Gaming. Click on Gaming and then it's gonna go and take you here. What I recommend doing is turning the Xbox Game Bar off, just like so, and then coming down to Captures. And once it loads, also making sure this is off as well. Um, it's just gonna speed up. So click that off as well. And then come down to Game Mode and I recommend having Game Mode on. Um, it, as you can see, his Windows will optimize your PC for play and then you can Xbox networking probably won't do much anyway. Anyways, now let's come back to our settings. Then what we want to do is click on find a setting again and simply search for power plan. Power plan, you can have power and sleep settings. Click there and then on the right, what we want to do is click additional power settings. Click there and then it's gonna take a minute to load and it brings up your control panel. And make sure you've got high performance selected. It may automatically be unbalanced. If you have it on balance, it's gonna go and reduce your performance uh, because it's gonna lower your energy consumption. If you have it on high um, performance, it's gonna use more energy, but you will be getting better gaming experiences and just better performance. So I recommend having that and then you can quit off this and come back here. Now, another awesome thing to do, I recommend is quitting off your settings, is going and deleting your temporary files. To do that, you need to press your Windows key and R, and all you want to do is type in percentage and then temp, just like so, and then percentage sign again, and then go and press OK, and then it's gonna go and bring up all your temporary files and all of these can be deleted. So you want to do is simply drag it down like this and select them all, and then go and press delete by pressing delete on your keyboard, and then it's gonna go and as you say this, as you can see, oh, you may have to skip a few if they don't get deleted. Um, I'll just skip them all, just like so and uh, then we can go and we'll need to go and clear them from the recycling bin as well as a quick note, um, but that's honestly really easy to do. So then I'm just gonna continue this and hopefully it's almost finished, it's been doing it for a while now, and uh, then we can go and delete it from our recycling bin. To do that, you wanna come onto your desktop and find your recycling bin, and then you can go and simply go and do control A, and you can go and press delete, and then you can go and permanently delete these files, and that's gonna go and speed up your PC a lot, um, and I'll click skip there. Now let's go and get into this next optimization. So what we want to do is come down to your search bar down here and simply go and search for task manager. Just like so, you've probably used uh, task manager before when say trying to force quit a program. And all we want to do is come along this top bar to start up. Then it's gonna go and list all of the programs which start up automatically when you launch your PC. Now this is gonna drastically improve your performance when you start turning your PC on. If your PC takes a long time to start up, I recommend disabling some of these apps you don't use when you start up your PC. It's gonna reduce the time taken for your PC to be ready to be used and to be fast. So for example, you can go and see the startup impact and one password is high. So I could go and right click on this, 
So click on it and then right click on it and go and click disable and then it's going to disable it when I start my PC and I'll have to manually launch it to go and use it. So that's what you've got to remember. I personally do quite like it being there and even though the, the startup impact is high. However, you may have a load of these which you don't want to launch when you first turn on your PC which you could then go and turn off. I've already sort of optimized this personally but I do recommend going and doing this for yourself. Now I want to show you a quick software you can go and use. So come to your search browser and simply go and search for a program called Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is a free program and there is a paid version for it but it's honestly a really cool program and it's going to go and remove any malware, any spyware as this will drastically be slumming your PC and there is a free version as I just mentioned. So as you can see it's now downloaded it. I'm going to go and quickly install it and then all you want to do is click on personal computer and then go and click install. Then I'm going to go and click skip this and it's going to go install the program for me and uh, then we can go and run it and I'll be showing you exactly how to. And now Malwarebytes has actually finished downloading. So what I'm going to do is simply go and open it up, I'll double click on it there and then we can go and run it and I'll be showing you what it can do and do. So it'll take a minute to load and I'll catch up with you once it has. So it's just launched and I'm going to go and hit get started and then I'm going to go and click maybe later um, and click get started again. So then what I'm going to do is go and click scan and now it's going to go and scan my whole computer for basically any issues with memory, startup items, registry and the whole file system. So let it do its thing and then at the end it's going to go and say everything it's found. And then it's going to go and give the option to go and fix these issues for you. So make sure once it's fully scanned you go and run through with what it says. I'm not going to do this now because I've done it before but you can go and do it for yourself. And the final thing I do recommend doing is simply right clicking and then you're going to have this option here. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you're going to have the NVIDIA control panel. Now what you want to do is make sure you get the latest version of this on the NVIDIA site and you can go and open it up. And this is going to give you options to go and optimize your graphics card. NVIDIA control panel has now loaded and here we are. Now if you don't know what it does, essentially what you can do, you can change all of these settings um, to go and optimize it fully to go and allow your graphics card to be fully running towards quality or performance. I've made a whole video covering the best settings you can use to be able to get the highest performance out of your graphics card. Like I said before, this is if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, but there are many other videos out there which cover the best settings for AMD as well, as a big impact can be made by changing these settings. So honestly, it's really worth going and optimizing your graphic card drivers. Like I said before, make sure you do have the most recent to up to date uh, version of NVIDIA uh, control panel, and I do cover that in the tutorial I previously made. And if you wanna see that, all you've got to do is go onto my channel and it should be there if you go and search it. But that's pretty much today's video. Like I said before, I'm going to probably be making a, a lot more in-depth video of optimizing Windows. Um, I just thought I'd cover some of the key features and key steps in this video. If you have any questions, please do tell them down below. I really do appreciate it. And just remember, make sure you go and sort of try this for yourself because um, some settings are going to work better than other settings. So it all depends on the computer, I guess. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I hope you do find this video useful. If you did, subscribe down below for more awesome tutorials just like this. Leave a like as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.